Hi, I'm Shane Hendren with Rio Grande. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the questions that I get asked most frequently. How do I get started engraving? Today, I'll take you from hand push to power assist, talk about all the tools you'll need. So keep watching. Engraving is an ancient art form that essentially is scratching designs into metal with something sharp. But today we have modern tools that enable us to capture our creative vision in metal. Doing this by non-mechanical means is referred to as hand push engraving. Hand push means you're just using your own force. With the right tools, it's actually not that difficult to get really good cuts. So let's talk about graver shapes and the cuts they make. We have flat gravers for making bright cuts, onglets for cutting seats for some stone setting, Liners are for shading as our knife edge. Rounds are good for removing background material. And all of the different angles, 90s, 105s, and 120s, which are very good general purpose gravers and can be used for many of the aforementioned tasks. While I think all of these are pretty essential, if you only want one to start, my recommendation is to get the 120 degree graver. Next, you'll want a good handle for your graver something that you can hold on to for long periods of time, safely and comfortably. You can pick from hardwood or plastic, and there are also many different shapes, including round, mushroom, and egg shape, depending on your preference. The way you mount the graver also varies depending on the handle. Some are permanently inserted, others have a quick change, chuck, or use thermoplastic. But my personal favorite is the GRS quick change handle. This one comes with multiple graver holders, which enables me to quickly move from hand push to power assist and continue to use my favorite graver. Your first big ticket item that you'll need for engraving is going to be an engraving ball, especially if you're going to do hand push engraving. The pushing actually comes from the ball, not your hand. While you're holding your graver and controlling the angles, your off hand is on the ball, pushing the metal into the cutting face of the graver. This is made easier with a heavy ball, such as the GRS standard engraving block, which is 22 pounds. The block can be used for so many other tasks besides just engraving, so I think it's definitely worth it. Now we need to talk about sharpening. When you're first starting out, you're more likely to break off your points, which can be frustrating and time consuming. One of the fastest and most economical ways to resharpen your gravers is with a diamond sharpening stone in a Lindsay template. The last thing I'd recommend for beginning setups is some education. I'll be creating some more videos on this topic, but for an excellent class, check out Jason Marchiafava's Art of Ornamental Engraving. If you're truly interested in engraving, I'd recommend getting this class before any tools. He covers everything from A to Z, and after watching, you'll have a very good idea if you want to attempt hand push engraving. The absolutely best thing about this video is you can rewind it. Even if you're just getting started, if you have the means, I encourage you to go with Power Assist. Power Assist is going to enable you to make cuts much easier than Hand Push. Hand Push requires much more physical force to make the cuts in the metal. There are many different types of Power Assist systems on the market today. Let me share some of my favorites with you. The Lindsay Art Graver is a beautiful hand engraved piece itself, handmade by Steve Lindsay, which will be an inspiration every time you pick it up. It's also so easy to get started with. Just plug it into your compressor and start engraving. It's a pretty amazing piece of equipment with great ergonomics. The GRS is what I started with and it will serve you forever if you take care of it. GRS has always continued to innovate, which is why they're the industry leader when it comes to power assist engraving tools. They also allow you to pick from multiple handles to fit the type of engraving that you want to do. We also sell the Glardon Velour machine. It works similar to the other two, but it has an extreme amount of adjustability. You can get it down to one stroke at a time, which can be really useful for maintaining control, especially for beginners and stone setters. If you're doing power assist engraving, then you'll probably also want to get a power sharpener, as it just makes it faster and more precise. My sharpener of choice is the GRS Variable Speed Sharpening Hone combined with the apex sharpening system. This allows you to repeatedly get the same angles you need every time. 
What I use to maintain my gravers in between honing are these diamond wheels. At this point, you need an engraving block because one of the greatest challenges of engraving is holding on to the item that you want to cut. If it's flat and square like this, it fits right in the engraving block. But if it's not, then it's an even greater challenge to hold on to. I have found some amazing things that are going to help you hold the items that you want to engrave. Jet Set or Thermalock are thermoplastics. All you do is heat them up and insert your piece into them. When it cools down, it holds on to your piece without scratching it or marring. This can adapt to any piece you have and in my mind is a must have for engraving. As you grow in skill, you'll start to understand the need for specialty gravers like curved ring gravers for engraving the inside of curved surfaces. You might also find it necessary to create your own shapes for doing specific work. So we sell GRS blanks in Glen Steel and CMAX so you can do that. The last thing I'll talk about is a real game changer and that's a microscope. I recommend the Leica A60 because it gives you more working area under the microscope and you can see more of your work surface. When you start using a microscope, you'll be able to see much more detail and get much better cuts. Your engraving skills will improve more quickly. I don't think I could work without one at this point. So those are all the tools that you'll need to get started engraving, whether it's hand push or power assist. The choice is yours. So below, let me know where you are on your engraving journey. And if there's anything in particular, any technique that you want to see, leave us a note. I hope this video was helpful. Stay sharp, my friends. Yeah.